this is the Spoon Dude back with more Ultimate Spider-Man customizing. Last time I talked about the sculpting and now we are on the final step which is painting. First let me introduce to you guys what paint I use. Alright so people often ask me what kind of paints I use and I always just answer acrylic paints and then they'll ask you know like what brands. Um, and normally I never know what to say because honestly I don't pay attention to the brand of acrylic paint that much. I'm kind of cheap so I just go for whatever cheap acrylic paint I can find as long as it's the right color and the right finish um, I'll get it uh, and you know if it's the, like the lowest price possible but for this project since I'm doing this whole video I guess I figured I'd show the paints so that I can answer some of those questions and so here's one of the red paints I will use for my ultimate spider-man it's just a basic kind of bright red and I also have this red as well because I'm not sure which red will match the plastic of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 body so I have both of these um, and you know I've made a lot of figures that have red so uh, I have a lot of red I guess. Now I brought out this um, Alex Ross Spider-Man because I was sort of trying to think what blue color I should use on my Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, for this Alex Ross Spider-Man I used a um, navy blue that I mixed with black and a little bit of red to get this really dark color. And I thought about using this navy blue on the Ultimate Spider-Man, but I don't know. It's uh, it's a matted kind of finish, and uh, I thought it would be a lot more interesting looking if it had a different finish on the blue than the red, since these are sort of flat reds, and the plastic is, um, you know, flat. It's not particularly glossy. It's not, and obviously it's not metallic. So I thought the red should be sort of a matte, and then I wanted the blue to stand out. So I went and got this. Um, metallic blue acrylic paint uh, and this is the same brand as that but uh, yeah, I got this one off Amazon and I like the way it looked in the you know pictures online so I'm hoping this will look good uh, once it you know pours out and uh, I'll try to get sort of metallic blue uh, I it wouldn't it's not unlike um, the kind of look of the Mafex spider-man you can see it has sort of a flatter red and then a metallic blue. I'm kind of hoping this blue is a little bit more metallic than um, what's on the Mafex, uh, since that might stand out a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, so that's the blue I will use. And then for stuff like the spider logos and the um, outline of the eyes, I just use a gloss black uh, that I've been using for a while now, um, over a year at this point. But yeah, this is my gloss black. You can see they're all like different, um, you know brands so uh, that's why I say I never really pay attention to the brand I just get what's uh, cheap or what's available to me uh, but yeah those are the paints I use all right so for my paint brushes these are the ones I use uh, you can see they're kind of worn out um, they came in this very basic packaging I just got them off from Amazon uh, if I remember correctly they were fairly cheap uh, but yeah you can just find um, small brushes on Amazon um, so you can have like, you know, bigger ones for, uh, just painting large sections. I'll probably use this for like the blue sections and then for more fine detailing, obviously the smaller brushes work for that. Um, probably, you know, for like the spider logo and stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the, my paint brushes just so that I, uh, cover all the bases there. So with the paint and the paint brushes out of the way, uh, let's get into painting the figure. Uh, but before I do that, the first thing I do usually right before painting is uh, just a little bit more sanding with my sandpaper, uh, you know, with a heavier focus on the joints, uh, just as a final sort of precaution against paint rub and all that. Again, sort of wiping all the dust off of him with sort of like a wet paper towel. Uh, and then once I'm done with that, I can get into painting. The first thing that I painted was actually his head, uh, just sort of the black outlines on the um, eyes. I left the red of the head itself and uh, the white, again, I left alone. Uh, just needed to paint the uh, part that I added sculpt to. I used a very thin brush and, uh, you know, got to painting. And uh, it was pretty, you know, tricky since uh, it is very thin, very small. I did really want to be careful about avoiding the white of the eye so um, I wouldn't get smudged. I did kind of get it smudged here and there but because it was still wet I was able to wipe it off and uh, not leave any mark uh, thankfully.
that pretty much was it for the head. Once I got to the body, again, for the red sections, I left as much of the original red as possible and only used my red paint on the parts that I added sculpt to, so that would be sort of like the center of the torso where I uh, took off the original logo, the hips where I sanded off the uh, original belt and had to re-sculpt it, the lower arms, and uh, the top of the boots where, again, I did some cutting and had to re-sculpt it. Uh, the red matches up pretty well with the uh, plastic of the red. I'm not even, I can't even remember um, which red I actually used, but yeah, I used the red and it worked out okay. I then did go back in with a black wash on some of those sections to um, fill back in the webbing. And uh, I also used uh, my marker pen uh, to redraw some of the webbing uh, here and there. And then um, for the logo, I painted it a uh, gloss black. Uh, again, sort of using the fine brush. For the blue sections, I started with a base coat of the gloss black. This way, um, when I went with the metallic blue, I could sort of dry brush it over the black and get sort of a shaded effect. Um, and also, I used the gloss black to make sure everything underneath the blue was the same color, so that sort of that red logo that was still on there from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 figure didn't sort of pop through uh, the blue. Um, so yeah, black is sort of a good color to make everything the same color before then adding another color on top of that. And then of course here's me adding the uh, metallic blue on top of the gloss black. Uh, I didn't record the entire painting process since it was all just uh, painting the same color on two different parts. But uh, it painted pretty nicely over the black. I only did, had to do just a few coats. I did try to thin it down just a little bit so that it didn't come off too thick. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the painting. There wasn't anything too complex about it. This isn't my most detailed or most intricately painted custom so uh yeah So that's pretty much it for the uh, custom and pretty much it for this uh, video series. I hope you guys enjoyed sort of seeing my customizing process and hearing me ramble on and on about sort of what I had to do for this custom. I'll post a uh, showcase video for this custom uh, just for the folks who didn't watch this series or don't have the patience to sit through all, the, all of these videos. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy uh, with the final result. Um, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me make it. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe. Do all of that stuff. And I will hope to see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.